Grill This, Smoke That is generously supported by Oven Brothers, makers of handcrafted Canadian-made wood-burning outdoor ovens for inspired chefs. Visit us at ovenbrothers.ca. Oven Brothers, from our family's backyard to yours. Grill This, Smoke That is brought to you by Furtado Farms. For all your outdoor cooking needs, they're your premium source for cookwood. Whether it's pellets, chips, chunks, or logs, they've got you covered. Visit FurtadoFarms.ca for more info. Kettleman's Bagels is proud to support Grill This, Smoke That. Kettleman's, makers of wood-fired Montreal-style bagels using only premium ingredients. With three Ottawa locations, Kettleman's menu is available 24-7, 365 days a year. Asparagus, delicious springtime oh, vegetable. So good. And there's so many different ways you can present them and prepare them really, getting them ready for cooking. Uh, asparagus are really long and there's actually a weak point in the asparagus where it'll bend and that's the tender part and this is the tough part. Yeah. Tough part you just want to get rid of. See how I did that? I love that. That was country style. That's a... Uh... Organic compost. Organic compost. <laughs> I'm sure my cat Sammy will be digging it up later. <laughs> and a classic way also is you can also peel your asparagus because the the uh, the skin. This is again very classic Super cooking. Super classic. Super classic. I personally really like the skins on the asparagus. I do too. I think it it gives a, a nice flavor, a good dimension, and it also protects this lovely, lovely core from excessive heat. I agree. You know, so we're going to actually uh, get rid of all these lovely little uh, peels again. Organic, organic compost. composting. Organic yep. composting. I think we have a theme for the next <laughs> few shows, and uh, we're going to let you do what you need to do as far as seasoning these bad boys. I'll throw one into the pot one for in. you. One in. One in. All right. Well, it's just so simple. Yep. Just want a little bit of olive oil. Same thing. Just keep it. Uh, from sticking to the grill, mm -hmm. although they don't usually, but it gets a nicer color on them actually, I find. And flavor-wise, you're adding that dimension yeah. of, of a good olive oil as well. Yeah, exactly. Look at you getting all chef -y on us. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. Pepper's optional. Absolutely. And, and that, that's it. That's pretty much it. That's it, then we're gonna so head we're, over to. We're gonna we're gonna put them in a, a lovely, lovely little half pan here. Again, you could put it in cast iron pan. You can do whatever you want with this. And you can grill them. You can do all kinds of stuff. Grill them, saute them, you can bake them. But today we're actually gonna go to the grill with them and do them in the oven. Oh, I'm super excited to see this oven. Awesome. So these lovely little spears are very delicate. And this oven is set for about 450 to 500 degrees. We're gonna throw them in the oven and we're just gonna cook them for like two or three minutes. They take very, very little time. So again, into the oven. Close the lid. Let's check our fire. I think we could use a couple more pieces of wood. Shut her up. That's all there is to it. So what are we doing with the butter? Because I see butter, I see shallots, I see salt and pepper, I see all kinds of wonderful things. What are we doing with this? So there's a, you know, classic uh, asparagus and prawn is butter. Yep. You can't go wrong with it. But we're going to do a little bit of a twist with it. We're going to make a brown butter vinaigrette. So it's going to be mm. creamy, a little bit emulsified, but it's going to have that nutty flavor that Lovely. you get from caramelizing the milk solids that are in that butter. Right. Yeah. So that in order really to do good. that... We're gonna brown some butter. We're gonna brown some butter. <laughs> so it's sort of a two-parter. Yep. So really. Now this is actually probably too hot. So we're gonna just take it off. We're gonna add more butter because it's cold. So it's going to uh, cool down the pan. Right. Uh, Cause we don't actually want to do it super quickly. Right. So we're gonna so turn that guy down. Turned it right down for turn you. Turn it right down. We are actually going to add the shallots in there. Okay. Uh, so we're going to cook the shallots as we're browning the butter. Right. But it's sort of, sort of low and slow. Um, 
because you don't want to burn the butter. Right. Because that gets a sort of acrid, uh, burnt taste, and it will, it's just, it's just not the same. No, absolutely, you don't want that, that, you know, when you're talking about something as beautiful and delicate as an asparagus spear, you don't want something that's acrid and burnt and nasty. You know, it's like it's like cooking a steak too much or doing anything. Absolutely. You're, you're, you're going to get that rotten mouthfeel. And, you know, when you're putting this amount of effort into food, you got to make it You want to get it right. Good. Absolutely. <laughs> Big time. So we're using a, an animal cast iron pan, and this is giving us a really nice, gentle, even heat. Um, what else can we say about this? Really? We're just going to let it go. Um just until you, you'll be able to start smelling right. uh, the sort of nuttiness. Mm -hmm. um, the water, so what's gonna happen is the water that's in the butter, and there's not very much, it's only about 20% milk salt, milk in, the, in a pound of butter, mm -hmm. um, and that's gonna evaporate off, leaving just the milk solids. Right. And then those, once the water's gone, are actually gonna start um, caramelizing, and they're gonna get those uh, really great um, hazelnut aromas, that right. nuttiness. That nuttiness that you're looking for. Yeah. And also the sound. I've always thought yep. the sound of when the butter reaches completion, you don't have the very large bubbles created by the water. No, definitely. You've got a very small bubble. Yeah, you, know? you can almost like, um, if you... It's like if bacon. If you stop hearing it, yeah. then you know it's, you're either right on time or, or you're or done. You're, or it's <laughs> you're starting far. over. You're yeah. starting over. <laughs> I'm telling you, there's nothing worse than actually going up to a pan of brown butter and seeing black butter instead. Absolutely. The smell hits you first and it goes, ah, oh, there goes another and pan of goes. butter. <laughs> and then we all cry. <laughs> so now we're seeing the, 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 the lovely little bubbles starting on the outside and the bigger bubbles actually forming on the, the inside and the whole evaporations thing, like you said, and, and the smell. The, oh, yeah. the smell is incredible. Even though we're cooking it outside, you can really smell this butter. And uh, it, it's starting actually, just starting now to, to change colors just a little, little bit. But that's going to take a few more minutes. And, uh, you know, the shallots are cooking. They're softening yeah. up. They're imparting their flavors. And, uh, again, this is uh, part one. And when the butter actually goes completely brown, that's when we're going to add it in the next part of the segment, which involves uh, blenders and... Blenders, lemon juice, some vinegar, a little bit of Dijon. Sounds great. Yeah. So let's emulsify some of this right after this.